Hey everyone, Jonathan Silva here for this episode of our SharePoint series. We're gonna be looking at adding web parts to our home site. So let's jump right into that SharePoint site, take a look at how we can start adding in different features there to make that home screen navigation just a little bit better for us every single time we log in. All right, so here we have my testing site that I've created and I have my device request list that I have here as well. And the objective that I have for this one is I just wanna be able to add a quick access um, a little bit more of a navigation to that device request. So make it easier for those of us inside of our team to go in and order a new device. So we can have access to that list right here in front of everything on this home site. Now the way we're gonna do that is by working with some web parts here in SharePoint. So to do that, we're gonna come up in the top right and we're gonna click on edit. Once we select edit, we're gonna be able to get our editing of our SharePoint home site right here with the different sections and the different columns that we have set up. Now to add that web part, we're gonna come anywhere we want. If you just hover over an area, you can see that we have that little plus icon there to add a new web part in that column. So if I click here right above my quick links, I can click and add in a new section. You can see here that we have our different images here in this grid view, or if we wanna to go to the list view, we can add them in pretty easily there. We can then come and scroll down and see all the different options we have within our web parts. One of the great things we can get is the integration with the other parts of Office 365 or whatever we really need within this SharePoint site. Now, the one that I wanna have again is to be able to see that device order list, that device request list here on our home page. So I'm going to come down and select list. And then I can go ahead and choose the list I want to use. So there's my device request list that I now have access to. And you can see that here it is. Our device request list is now available here for us right away. I can come in here and then choose to move this web part just by dragging this up and down. We can edit this web part as well by being able to decide, all right, which list do we wanna see? What do we wanna view, all items or anything else? Is there a specific folder we wanna to go to? What size should we have? Do we wanna auto size to fit a certain number of items? Do we wanna be large, medium? You know, as we come through here, you could just select different ones. You can choose to show the command bar, show a see all button. You can have that all added in. All you need to do is select apply and you can see that it shows more items. An item here in our SharePoint list is a row. So keep that in mind, depending upon how you have that. If I wanna do auto fit, it's gonna go ahead and allow me to uh, have that resize automatically. All right, so we can come in here. We can also duplicate this web part, just essentially make a new list somewhere else and add it in a different location and even delete that web part from here. Now, what else can we do? Well, that's just our list there to make it easier for our, our users to go ahead and add in a new request if we want, a new item on that list, or to be able to edit things from here. Well, what if we wanted to add something else? Well, it's just as easy as clicking in and deciding that we're gonna increase, insert another web part. So you can come in, you can see that little plus icon once again, if I come down here, and I can add in another one. Like, if I want, I can add in a document library. I can add in a new site, a link to another site. We can add in different features inside of here, like an organization chart or access to individuals. If you want, you can even search here for, say, a form. And I can come in and even add in a Microsoft form that stays right here on our SharePoint site. Click on that, and here we go. We can now choose to add in a new form or an existing form. So we can create a form from scratch here. If I say new form, look what it's gonna do. I can come up here and do a name of this, maybe call it IT assistance, and then create a form. Here we are with our IT assistance form. We can now add in new questions. So I'm just gonna generate a few questions here for our form and just have them available to us when we want it within our web part. And once we're done here, we can go ahead and save our 
form. Got it done. Go back in here to our web part here within SharePoint. I can then decide how do I want to work with this? Do I want to collect responses or show the form results? I'm going to keep collect responses here because this is going to be an IT request. Hit OK. And there are the questions of our form all laid out here embedded inside of our site. Instead of having people go there to the link, I can then do it all from inside of SharePoint here. So now we have that available. Now what's the next step? Well, we can go ahead and reorganize this if we want. Maybe we want to have our items on one side or another. Maybe I want to move documents over underneath the news if we have news available. Maybe I want to add in different parts and move them up and down. I could take my quick links and put them underneath there. We're just being able to drag and drop and move things around however we want within these different web parts of our SharePoint site. Once we're all ready to go, we can come in here and select republish. Once we use that, that's going to make sure this is now the live view of our SharePoint site that we can use from this point forward. And you can see we have our device request list here. I can add in a new item, a new whatever a new request that I may have. I can even see my IT assistance form here as well that we can go ahead and answer, submit, and everything's all laid out there for us. Thanks for joining me here once again, looking with SharePoint to make it a little bit easier to go ahead and set up your site, your list, your libraries, to go ahead and utilize this for your organization. Stay tuned for more videos as we take a deeper journey into how to use SharePoint to the best of your abilities.